How's it going guys? We have a past level question for MSK Anatomy for step one, as well as for pediatrics for 2CK. They can occasionally ask step one-esque questions on the 2CK exam. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. I'm man underscore medical. The link's down below. Find me on Telegram. The link's to the Telegram group and channel are down below and I'll start the clip. So Three-year-old boy, he has slow motor development, waddling gait, calf muscle enlargement, serum creatine kinase is markedly increased. Question wants to know what's most likely to be seen in this patient. Let's just whip through the answer choices here. Choice A, cytoskeletal disruption is the correct answer. Okay, this is Duchenne muscular dystrophy. As I just fucking said, it's past level. Okay, so you need to know that this is X-linked recessive. All right, and it's almost always a frame shift mutation in the dystrophin gene, which that gene codes for alpha beta dystrophy glycan which is a protein that links the cytoskeleton of the muscle cell to the extracellular matrix. So sometimes they can give you a very similar question and then ask you for the organelle that's fucked up and they'll just want cytoskeleton. Okay, that's what they want is the answer here. Very high yield, all right? So X-linked recessive, as I said. Becker, of course, being a less severe form that can present uh, in, as a teenager or a young adult. But, and that's not gonna be a frame shift, but. This is past level. You need to know Duchesne and Becker. I've seen enough students uh, miss this type of question where I really just have to straight up cover it, even though for some of you watching this clip, you think this is too easy, okay? So cytoskeletal disruption, very important here. I'm just going to whip through the other answer choices. The branching enzyme deficiency, wrong answer. This would refer to Cori syndrome, which is glycogen storage disease type 3, okay? So alpha 1,6 glucosidase deficiency. It's not high yield, all right? Pretty much nonsense diagnosis. It's a less severe form of von Gierke. Von Gierke is high yield. I mean, that's type 1, which would be choice C here, also fucking wrong. So von Gierke is you can't synthesize, you have glucose 6-phosphatase deficiency, can't synthesize glucose uh, from G6P, and that's going to present as a sick kid with lactic acidosis, hepatosplenomegaly, and hypoglycemia, okay? Choice D, failure of mannose phosphorylation, wrong answer. This would refer to eye cell disease, which is exceedingly high yield for biochemistry. Not my fucking opinion as to why this is high yield. It's because I've gone through all the NBME content and eye cell disease shows up repeatedly, okay? So it's a failure at the Golgi to phosphorylate the six position of mannose, can't synthesize uh, mannose 6-phosphate, which is a molecule that's required to send lysosomal enzymes that are located at the Golgi to the lysosomes. So it's technically a lysosomal storage disease, but the location of the enzyme problem is at the Golgi. So those enzymes can't go from the Golgi to the lysosomes. They end up in the cytosol slash outside the cell. That's what they want you to know for eye cell disease. It's usually a kid who has joint contractures, can have gargoyle-like facies as well. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, swelling of rough endoplasmic reticulum, nonsense, refers to zero. Albeit, I have seen basic type of questions where they will just ask you the biochemistry straight up and say there's a protein that can't make it to the Golgi apparatus, okay? It, it doesn't have the proper tagging, and they'll say what would be seen in the cell under electron microscopy, and the answer could be a swelling of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Sounds very basic, but... You should be aware that proteins that are synthesized at the rough, uh, the rough ER, the RER, uh, normally go to the Golgi next. Okay, so nonsense answer choice. But the point of consolidation for this clip is: Duchenne and Becker muscular dystrophies are X-linked recessive. Okay, so mutation in the dystrophin gene, and USMLE wants cytoskeleton as the answer. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.